Now, let's see something very unique to Actor Imaging Suite. The possibility to accept precisely the bone density all around an implant. Okay, I go on this icon here. I click on MPR, which is multi plan Reconstruction, which is pretty much the main screen that you get. I go in a place where I can again place an implant. Okay. All right. Let's say that I want to place an implant right here next to the other two. Again, I go here, add implant, select the tooth that I want. Okay. Left click, left click again. And here we go. I've got my third implant. Now, I want to be sure that this implant is going to be stable inside the bone. I don't want the patients to actually uh, get his implant off after a year or two years being placed. So, what I can do is I can click here on this little icon of the, the man with his teeth and you will see that on the actual view, if I zoom in, this color will show up with values. Okay, to simplify, when it's ready, it means that it's below the, the density, normal density of bone. If it's over 400, it will show up in green, and it will mean that the, 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 the bone is stable enough, is dense enough. See here, it's actually the Hansfield unit values. It actually matches the different classification of the bone, D1, D2, D3, D4. Knowing that below 400, your bone is not so dense, over 400, your bone is not so dense either, but it starts to be okay to place an implant. Okay, and of course, these values are showing up also on the sagittal view here. Okay, when it's red, it means that it's not sufficient enough. When it's green, it means that it's okay. Of course, then when I see these parameters, I can simply move my implant again until I find better values. Here we go. That looks a bit nicer. Of course, I can diminish my implant length and diameters, and maybe I will get better values. All right, that's pretty much it.